Good evening. Have you noticed what looks like big pieces of land and waters around the lake area? It's actually giant salvinia, and experts say this year we're seeing a lot more of the plant. KPLC's Jaron Jordan is live near Lake Charles to tell us what's going on. Cynthia, well, the weather is getting warmer, and for a lot of people, the idea solution is to go to the beach and jump in the water. But some of the people I talk with today say that they're not too anxious to jump into Lake Charles just yet because of what you see behind me, a takeover of Giant Salvinia. On a hot spring day at the I-10 beach, Giant Salvinia isn't keeping some out of the water, but for others... I just stick to the beach and maybe get a little bit of sun, but as far as going in the water, I, would, I wouldn't. While it's not harmful to people, it is a nuisance, as any of the boathouse owners on Shell Beach Drive or boaters at the marina will tell you. At this boathouse, the Salvinia is so thick and widespread, you can hardly tell where the land stops and the water begins. But what is it and where did it come from? It's a floating aquatic fern, and it, under ideal growing conditions, it has the capacity to double its biomass every seven to ten days. Eric Shanks works with the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, the organization responsible for controlling the plant, which first appeared in the Calcasieu water system in 2009. The reason why it has been so bad this year is because we had a very mild winter. Since cooler weather kills the plant, our mild winter with few freezing temperatures meant an increased risk for salvinia and now that it's here shank says there are a few things that will make it go away if it dries out is exposed to salt or is exposed to enough heat uh, it'll die but it can stay underneath the boat in between the boat and the trailer for a long period of time as long as it stays moist it'll stay alive wildlife and fishery sprays waterways to kill existing plants and habitats ideal for growth but for other areas like lake charles they say the salvinia will naturally go away but not without first causing a stir the the operative word is control. Uh, we cannot eradicate this plant. It's, uh, we wish we could, but it's just not going to happen that way. Now this is what a handful of that salvinia looks like and again I want to reiterate that it poses no direct threat to humans and the environmental threat in an area like Lake Charles is very minimal because experts say that it will go away soon. But in those low-lying areas that are perfect habitats for the salvinia to grow, experts say that it may start to cause some damage underneath the surface because what the salvinia does is act like a blanket. Uh, eliminating any sunlight getting through uh, the surface of the water. But for all of the information on Salvinia, as well as a special program between wildlife and fisheries and private property owners, you can visit our website, kplctv.com. Reporting live in Lake Charles, Jaron Jordan, KPLC 7 News.